hey guys welcome back to my channel or if you are new welcome my name is hannah and today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial you guys have been requesting me to do more makeup tutorials um but i just haven't felt well enough to and then i ended up getting this nj tube so i thought it'd be kind of interesting to show you how i do my makeup with this um so yeah um just a little disclaimer i am not a makeup artist by any means i'm not a beauty guru um this is just how i do my makeup so anyways let's get started so first i'm just gonna um put this headband on to keep my hair out of my face And then I like to tuck this like in the back just so it stays out of the way. Right now I am running my feet so it's a little bit tricky, but I'll just like throw it over the shoulder so it kind of stays behind me and isn't in the way. And also I'm sorry if I'm looking down, my makeup mirror is right here and I cannot make up in the viewfinder. Um, so yeah. I also um, moisturized and washed my face, well, washed my face and then moisturized. Um, and I use my favorite moisturizer by I Believe. This is the moisturizing balm. I will also link um, every product that I use below. And I'm sorry for the noises in the background. Um, I do live on a busy road. So, yeah. After I've let my moisturizer sink in a little bit, I'm gonna prime. This is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. And I just use like a pump and a half. And I put this all over my face. And I'm also not careful at all about this tape right here. It is wet from me washing my face and it's starting to peel up. But I just leave it because at the end I will change it because it gets dirty with all the makeup. Then I get... <laughs> Then I'm going to go in with another primer. This one is a pore filling primer and I only go in on like my nose and chin. And this is by Cover FX. I got this in a um, boxy charm though. But I will try to find it. It's pretty good. Um, I mean, it gets the job done, so. Then I'm gonna go in with foundation and this is currently my favorite foundation. It's the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation and I'm pretty sure I used this in my last tutorial. Um, I'm not a fan of the packaging though. It comes in like this dropper. I mean, it's not terrible, it's just kind of messy. So. And I like to dot this all over my face first. And then I'm gonna go in with this IT um, Cosmetics Buffing Foundation Brush. It is dirty, I'm sorry. And I'm just going to start to blend. I'm not precise with this. I'm just kind of like spreading it where I want it. And then I'm gonna go in with my baby blender. Then once I kind of have that where I want it, I'm gonna take my pink beauty blender and really like blend it in. Okay, and for concealer, I have been loving the new Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Um, this is like the bigger one and um, I think I like it more than my Tarte Shape Tape, which is saying a lot. So I just put this under my eyes. I kind of like to go in with a lot, even though a little goes a long way with this. I'm also using this as um, a base for my eyeshadow. And then I'm just gonna go in wherever I have like a zit. And then I'm going to take my beauty blender again, but use the point inside and blend this in. And I always start with uh, my left eye because right now it's easier to do that one because the tube is not in the way. But I do have to say I like the Beauty Blender the best. Not because of the texture, I actually like the texture of the Real Techniques, the orange one. Um, 
but the point on this is super nice to like get up under here to blend everything in without being like super messy. Then to set everything, I'm going to take this RCMA no color powder. I did put this in my own container because the one it comes in is super annoying. And I'm taking this Luxie uh, Precision, Precision Foundation Brush. And I personally like to put a lot of powder on underneath my eyes, even though it tends to look cakey a lot of the time. Uh, my under eyes crease really bad and my mascara smudges horribly all the time and I don't know how to get it to stop. But I find putting more powder helps. But I don't like baking for some reason. And then I also set my eyelids just so when I do eyeshadow it blends out nice. And then whatever powder I have left, I just go back under my eyes. Then, to set the rest of my face, I'm going in with my Becca, uh, what is this called? The Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Um, I used to be like really obsessed with this. I honestly don't think it's that good. Like the powder itself is, but the packaging is awful. Like it's so hard to get open and once you do it has like this mesh. Like, I don't know how to explain it, like a stopper almost. And you either get like way, way, way too much powder or like you don't get nearly enough. So it's just annoying. And I'm using a Sigma um, large powder brush. Okay, so like once my base is done, I'm going to move on to like blush and highlight and everything. Um, so the nice thing about this tube is I really only have to do one cheek. So first I'm gonna go in with bronzer and I'm gonna take my um, Real Techniques blush brush. And I have been obsessed with this Marc Jacobs. It's the Tantastic Omega Bronzer. I think I like it more than my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, but I'm not sure, this was really expensive. But I'm super pale and need like color put back in and this does the trick without being like orange and also I don't contour I'm just warming up my face because I'm I don't know I just don't like the way contour looks on me and I am going to bronze this cheek I'm just gonna go like right over the tape I kind of bring it down to my jaw and then I'm gonna do my forehead. I go in with a lot more bronzer on my forehead than my cheeks. And then I do go a little bit on my nose. Again, not contouring, but I feel like when I put color back on my face and just leave my nose alone, it looks really weird. So I kind of want that sun-kissed look, even though your girl has not been out in the sun in like four months. <laughs> then I'm taking this, um, is this a Sigma Duo Fiber Brush and I just like to blend it in a little bit so it's not super harsh. And then for blush, I'm taking this Sigma Large Angled Contour Brush and this is the Tarte Blush Bazaar Palette. Um, this is a holiday kit, but I'm taking this shade right here. It's called Angelic and I'm only gonna do this cheek, so. But this blush is like the prettiest blush I've ever seen and I don't know if they make it like as a single but if they do I'm definitely gonna get it because it's so pretty and I put way too much on. It doesn't look like I put that much on in person but on camera it's like picking it up crap. Okay so I'm just gonna try to blend this out and then I'm gonna Take the same duo fiber brush and... and for highlight this is like my favorite part i'm obsessed with highlighter this one has been my favorite this is the nars oops. this is the nars um albatross highlighter these are their new highlighters they're pretty expensive but i love this one and i'm gonna take this little um, real technique setting brush 
This one works so well with this highlighter. And I'm gonna load up my brush. And then I'm just gonna go right here. And I kinda like to drag it up here. I'm obsessed with highlighter, so I will literally put it everywhere. And then I'm gonna put some up here. Cupid's bow, and then I'm going to on my chin, and then I'm going to take a little bit more because I don't, I don't need it, but I just love the way that it looks. And then I'm going to take the same brush and just kind of blend. So, my face is done. Now I'm going to move on to like my eyebrows and eyes, so I am going to zoom you in for this. Um, I am only going to do one eye at a time though, just because like it's going to be the same. So um, yeah. First I'm going to do my brows. And I'm just going to take this spoolie and I'm only going to do this brow on camera. But I'm going to brush it through. Then I'm taking, this is like the best eyebrow product of life. This is um, Cabrow by Benefit. It's not gonna focus, is it? No, it's only focusing on me. So anyways, um, I have the shade number two and I love how it comes with like its own little brush. And I'm just gonna dip in and start working on this brow. And my brows are absolutely gross right now but I have not felt long enough to do them. So I first draw a line underneath my brow and then a line the tail and then I go up the top and draw another line. And this looks insane right now. And I promise I'm going to blend it out and make it a little less harsh. I really just follow my natural brow shape. So that's what that one looks like. Um, before I move on, I take the same spoolie and I just brush it out again. And then I go in with Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, this is in the shade number one and I like to set it. And this lightens it up a little bit. It matches my hair color a little bit better. So that's what my brow looks like. You can see the before and after. So I'm gonna do my other brow and then I will come back. Okay, so now my brows are done and I look insane. Like I literally look like I have Sharpie brows, but I promise once I do my eyes, it will balance it out. So um, again, I'm just gonna do this eye and do this one off camera, but I'm going to, I can't talk. I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette. And um, just, I love this for like everyday matte shadows. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is Commando, and I'm taking this uh, Sigma Tapered Blending Brush, and I am using this as a transition. So I'm literally gonna start buffing this like all over my lid. And again, I am not that great at makeup. I love makeup, I love doing my makeup, but I'm definitely not like a makeup artist or beauty guru. <laughs> this is just what I do and what works for me. So after I do that, I'm taking the same brush because, you know, why not? And I'm going to go in with this matte brown shade called Faith. I'm only taking a little bit to start out with. And this I'm going just to put into 
putting this everywhere and I kind of like to bring it a little bit lower just because I don't want it all the way up. I'm just gonna blend. Once that's kind of what I want, um, I'm taking this angled brush and I'm going to grab this highlight shade and just put it under my brow. This isn't anything too crazy. I don't like that look of like super highlighted like brow bones, but that doesn't really make sense. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that for the time being and we'll come back to the crease. But next, um, I'm going to take, I haven't decided what shadow I'm gonna take yet. Okay, now I have. I am going to take this ColourPop uh, Super Shock shadow, and this is in Prickly Pear. I'm going to take my ring finger and I'm going to place this all over my lid. And then I like to go back in a little bit and pull it up a little bit more. So once that's on, I'm going to go back into my Urban Decay palette and take the shade Faith again just a tiny bit more and I'm going to start to blend the two together and then <laughs> I'm going to take this Colourpop um, pressed powder shadow and this is in the shade Snake Eyes. It's this pretty like purpley bronze I'm taking my Sigma um, eyeshader brush and taking a pretty generous amount and putting that directly over top. Of the prickly pear shadow. And then I'm going back in with the same um, fluffy brush and the same brown eyeshadow, just a tad bit more and break that in. Take this Sigma pencil brush and I'm taking the same brown eyeshadow Faith and I'm going to start smudging this on my lower lash line. And then I'm taking this um, angled brush again and I'm actually going in with my NARS highlighter that I used on my cheeks. And I'm gonna highlight the inner corner of my eye because I like this to be like super intense, like my cheeks. And this highlighter again is like my favorite. Okay, so this eye is almost done. I'm going to take a clean, um, fluffy blending brush, again from Sigma, and I'm going to just blend everything together. I like doing this just to make sure there's no harsh lines. Okay, and then I don't do this every day, but if I want like a little bit more of a dramatic look, um, I'm going to take this um, small angled brush by Sigma and um, the black shadow in this palette and I'm literally going to use it as eyeliner. Okay, so I finished my left eye off camera and I also set my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I do try to like cover this tape up just because I, I don't even know. I'm taking it off anyway, so I guess that doesn't even make any sense. Um, but now I'm gonna do mascara. Again, I'm just gonna do this eye. So the first thing I do is I go on with my Sonia Kashuk Eyelash Curler. Uh, this is really dirty, um, so don't mind. Also, it's really hard because like it kind of gets stuck on this, so yeah. But now it's not gonna focus. There we go. Then I'm taking my Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I said that weird. Um, but I love this stuff. This is the best mascara ever. And I'm just So 
So I do one coat, then I do my bottom lashes, and I like to take this um, Tarte Gifted Mascara. This is just a sample that I've had forever, and it's probably expired, but I don't know. I don't like the Benefit one for my bottom lashes because it is pretty wet. It gets everywhere. And then I go in for a second coat with the Benefit Mascara on my top lashes. Okay, and this is the finished eye look. I'm not good at this, so just bear with me. Um, yeah, I love this eye look. This is like my go-to, I guess every day, but I don't wear makeup every day, but I do like this technique. Sometimes I do switch out the shadows, but for the most part, this is what I do. So I'm going to zoom out, we'll do lips, and then I'm done. Before I do lips, I'm going to change this tape just because I want it to look a little bit better. Um, the tape I use is Hypofix. I think I'm saying that right. Uh, I got this on Amazon. They gave me a box of this in the hospital, but I ran out so I bought my own and I love this more than like Duoderm or Tegaderm or anything. So I've already cut a little piece and I'm going to take this tape off. I like to hang on to my tube so it doesn't come out. Although this keeps it in place, but I like exactly where it is and I'm really picky about it. And as you can see, there's like a literal line of where my makeup is. Normally, if I wasn't wearing makeup and changing the tape, I would clean my skin off with some micellar water just to kind of keep it, I guess, the less irritated from the adhesive, but gonna do that because I don't want to take my makeup off. Okay, so I'm going to stick it exactly where it was before if I can. So, usually I've been wearing this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. This is in Champagne Mommy. Uh, this is like the most gorgeous gloss ever. Um, it looks like this. Uh, it's kind of sheer, so it's like not that intense. I will actually insert a picture of me wearing it, like right here. But today I'm actually going to go in with um, a different ColourPop lip. This is an Ultra Satin Lip in the color Strip. First, I'm going to take my L'Oreal lip liner because I'm really bad at doing liquid lipstick and I'm just going to line my lips. So I look absolutely crazy. I don't fill them in with the lip liner or anything. Now I'm just going to take the um, liquid lipstick and fill it in. So yeah, so anyways, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Again, I'm not the best at makeup and my hair looks absolutely insane right now, but you guys have been requesting this, so I thought I would do it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.